Welcome back, Irish fans, to Breaking Down Braves Boys podcast. Today I'm alone. Um, we had to schedule this upload because I won't be home. So this is the only way to get a video out, just me. Maybe we'll have an interview next week. Not sure what next week looks like because that's a long time from now um, from when you guys are seeing this. But this one is analyzing Prentice Hub's sophomore season. I'll probably do these with Dane Goodwin and Nate, maybe Jawan Durham too. Let me know if you guys want to see those or if I should do something else. Uh, I'm going to try this video out, um, but let's get into Prentice Hub's stats. Before we analyze Prentice's year and predict his junior year, we have to look at his stats from his sophomore year. So in 2019-2020, he averaged 12.7 points per game, 5.1 assists per game, 2.4 rebounds, 38.5 from the field and 34.4 from three, which may I add is very impressive for the number of deep shots he took and contested. 2.7 turnovers per game, which is an increase from last year, so that's not good. And he had one steal per game, and that's not a huge deal. Um, but he did get a little bit better statistically overall. Four point per game increase, which is a big leap. That's exactly what they needed from him. And he had an assist increase and by one and a one rebound decrease. Neither of those are a huge deal in my opinion. A 6% increase from the field, which I think is a pretty big deal. And an 8% increase from three, which is impressive, like I said. especially Well, not super impressive though, because he shot 26% in his freshman year but it's still pretty decent. Um, the efficiency increase is huge overall, I would say. The bad thing, though, is his turnovers. I think that's a big issue, but the good thing about that is um, you can tell he's more comfortable in the offense if he's really letting it loose like that. Mike Bray did say he's his Mahomes. So, yeah, now that we've looked at the stats, let's go over the good parts of his season. So one of the best parts of his season was that Prentice took control of the team. Mike Bray said that in his Zoom call that Prentice was his Mahomes and that he was pretty much the unquestioned leader of the team. Even Rex, Mooney, and TJ knew that. Um, he said this is 100% Prentice's team coming into this year. Another big thing that Prentice showed is he can take over games like the FSU and UNC game and a couple other games, I can't remember exactly. But those were big games that we really needed him in, and he stepped up. Unfortunately, the FSU game didn't end the way we wanted, but the good thing about that game is we saw that. We saw him take over. Another thing is we saw him fully comfortable. After, well, maybe not fully, but close to fully comfortable. Last year, he was kind of just thrown in the fire. He hadn't played basketball in like over a year because of his ACL tear. And another thing, like I said earlier, he shows up in big games. He has really good energy. But some of the bad things are he has consistency issues. If you look at his box or his game logs, like Jake said in our last podcast, you'll see that he'll have like a 28-point game and then he'll have a 5-point game, a 3-point game, a 1-point game, stuff like that. Like the Clemson game, he had 3 there was one stretch that was really bad. It was like three, five, eight, and it wasn't against good teams either. Another thing is he was pretty bad at home, especially at the beginning of the year. He had 14 points a game on the road and a little over 10 at home. Absolutely not ideal, especially because they play more home games than away games. But I guess we'll have to live with that. Maybe he can improve that. Another big thing is he's a little erratic. That was one of his bigger issues, in my opinion. I think he forces too much stuff, especially early in games. He'll come out and he'll make stupid passes like the Clemson game, the Duke game, the ball pressure from Trey Jones got to him. He had a bunch of turnovers in that game. Virginia Tech game, I think he had a bunch of turnovers in. Not ideal, but I think that'll come with age, to be honest. Another thing is he takes bad shots. That kind of ties into the erratic thing. And then lastly, I think he needs to flip his switch more. Like I said earlier, just be more consistent. Um, I think Jack Nolan said that you can see in Prentice's eyes that he'll 
or when he's locked in and when he's going to have a big game. Obviously, he's trying when he's not 100% locked in, but you can really tell when he's about to take over the game. So we need a little more of that from him. Now on to the big question, was his sophomore season successful? I would say yes. I think it definitely was successful. I think he made a big leap in a lot of stat categories, especially points, three-point percentage, field goal percentage are the big ones. Assist to turnover, I think he had an increase in even if he had more turnovers. You can really tell he was more comfortable out there. He played way more confident. He looked comfortable. He looked like he wasn't thrown into the fire. Unfortunately, that was bad because of his turnovers at times, but the majority of the time it was good, like the FSU game. He wasn't shying away from taking big shots. Um, we saw that he can step up in big moments. He can be that scorer down the stretch. And, yeah, that's about it. Now on to what does a successful junior season look like for him, in my opinion. I think it'll look pretty similar in terms of stats, assists, and all that. I don't think you'll see a huge increase. Maybe from 12 or 13 points, he'll go to 14 or 15 that would be nice, but there's going to be another ball handler with him, Cormac Ryan, who will take a lot of shots. I think he'll have the same amount of like volume as last year. I think he really needs to be more consistent with that. I think his assists will be the same. But, yeah, I would say his percentages could vary. I don't expect him to shoot up because his shot selection isn't great. And, honestly, I don't know how much volume he'll have next year. But what I'm really looking for, I'm not really looking for stats. I'm looking to see him more comfortable. I want to see him slow down, not be erratic, not take bad shots, not uh, have turnovers forced. Another thing is consistency. Like I said, we really need to see more consistency from him. If we see consistency, if we see him slow down, and we see him be a little more efficient from the field, I think it'll be a really successful junior year for him. And, yeah, so that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more videos soon. Hopefully, by the time I'm back from vacation, we'll have in it another interview set up. So be on the lookout for something soon, and talk to you guys later. Peace.